Uh, hello, this is Dr. Prasad Pratilam uh, with the class series Innovation and Design Thinking, a theory part, uh, module 1 uh, and part, part 1, first part of this. So, this is the syllabus which is there for the first year engineering students common to our branches of Vichyashara Technological University. Uh, my YouTube channel I have already shared uh, last year, I have shared uh, the object type questions and uh, the answers for that. Uh, but uh, I feel that the theory part also important. I didn't uh, explain in detail about the theory there. Simply the uh, object type question is already there in the playlist of my YouTube channel, which is um, uh, have been uh, referred by many in last year uh, for their exams, and it was useful. Uh, I got the positive feedback from uh, many. Okay, so continuing uh, that, I thought that uh, theory part is also required. So I'm taking this for this. Uh, uh, the second year I am uh, taking this on the date uh, you can see the date of uh, presentation uh, in the slide itself ok so uh, on this date I am uh, presenting it uh, at the theory of uh, so I am covering the first module here as part 2 uh, module 1 the highlighted one as part 1 I am covering on this particular uh, class video ok so understanding design thinking uh, understanding design thinking is the first topic which is given so that is actually uh, we will go to the history we should understand why that uh, design thinking concept was introduced uh, what was the necessity of uh, introducing this particular concept so we will start from the um, the sputnik crisis from where this it, it actually got initiated sputnik 1 it was launched by the soviet union on uh, the october 4th of 1957 and was the first man made satellite uh, orbiting the earth uh, it transmitted radio signals uh, for three weeks before its battery depleted uh, orbiting two more months uh, until January 4, 1958. This event caused uh, the worry called as Sputnik crisis, creating worry in the western countries due to the perceived technology gap with the United States and the Soviet Union. So, the creation of uh, the NASA, National Aeronautics and Space Administration. The Smutti crisis uh, that a, a major Cold War event led to the establishment of NASA on uh, 29th July 1958 by United States of America, United States. NASA is an independent agency which is responsible for the country's the civil space, uh, space program, mainly the sp space program the aeronautical research as well as the uh, 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 space research. John Arnold's proposal that is in 1958 just the after the four months after the launch of the Sputnik and uh, during the Cold War or the ongoing Cold War uh, between uh, the two countries, uh, two uh, group of countries actually you can say. The Stanford engineering uh, professor uh, John Arnold, he proposed a novel idea. At a time when the engineers are, uh, were primarily dedicated to the space race as well as uh, perfecting the hydrogen bomb, Arnold suggested a human centered approach to the design engineering. So this concept initially considered unusual because everybody is behind uh, becoming the world power. Uh, so they advocated uh, for uh, positive and lasting changes. But the Arnold's idea is expanded beyond engineering into the fields like psychology, anthropology uh, and offering a uh, you know, practical user focused solution for creative problem solving and uh, innovation grounded in human well-being. So, introduction of uh, the program called uh, the design thinking or the concept of design thinking, it was inspired by uh, the Arnold's idea who said that engineering professor uh, uh, with uh, uh, Bob Napkin, uh, uh, he uh, with the assistance of an uh, art professor Matt Kahn, they established an engineering program named product design. Okay, so in that program, the Mackim and the collaborators they developed a design thinking process that not only laid the groundwork for the Stanford uh, D School, design school, but also served as the guiding uh, framework for design centric uh, companies 
one was very famous that is IDEO, IDEO. Okay. The foundation of Stanford uh, Design School, the uh, Design School or called as uh, D. School, is officially known as the uh, Hasso Patler Institute of Design and Stanford. It is a very popular design thinking institute in Stanford University that time, even now. It was founded by uh, David M. Kelly and uh, Bernard Roth. The New York Times recognizes it as one of the most in demand academic programs at Stanford University. So the design thinking concept or the idea made very uh, popular by the Stanford D School, which blends the design problem solving foundations with a profound understanding of the user. So design thinking has proven uh, uh, highly effective in presenting the practical solutions to actual problems. Uh, stages of design thinking. In design thinking is an uh, approach to solving problems uh, that focuses on understanding user needs, uh, generating ideas, uh, creating prototypes and, and refining the solutions. So uh, it prioritizes the empathy, the experimentation as well as the, the iteration doing it again and again and uh, making it proper in the design process okay so the typical process which involve um, the uh, design thinking are five mainly five right empathize define uh, ideate prototype and test okay so empathize means that is to understand the user needs and pain points through research and observation means we have to discuss with uh, the customers and uh, different varieties of customers uh, different uh, age group of customers uh, we need to understand their uh, needs their uh, interest their uh, feel feeling as well as their pain points uh, do have they have any anything in their mind with uh, that uh, product or whatever we are using that is through research and observation we need to find out that. then comes the defined stage uh, Defense state actually clearly outlines the problem based on uh, the insights which are gathered in the empathy state, whatever collected from the empathy stage, refining it and refining it and finally we are getting into, into some, some conclusion or some, some we are defining it, making that, that this is what uh, they required, what, what, what the user needs or what the outcome of the empathize. Then comes ideate. Ideate generally, it, it generate a variety of ideas for solving the problems. Means we, we found that this has to be solved and this should be the uh, outcome uh, possible uh, outcome for that then how to execute it so different variety of ideas will come that come, that is the stage called ideate stage then comes the prototype prototype it creates a physical or digital uh, presentation of the solution means before uh, producing the actual one no? A sample one will be created to, to, to check it uh, whether everything is working proper, whether the concept is working in that uh, um, machine or uh, whatever, uh, whatever uh, not only machine, it may be a model uh, other things as well. So prototyping is also very important. Even uh, if, if you create some website, new website, uh, it's not a machine, uh, that's why I got suddenly got confused. So a prototype has to be created, then it's given for testing, the test it where we gather the uh, user feedbacks then refine the solutions and make the improvements. Applications, uh, design thinking, it can be applied to a wide range of problems uh, from uh, designing a new product or service to improving an existing one or even uh, uh, redesigning a business process. So design thinking also involves collaboration with a diverse group of stakeholders, including the users, uh, business stakeholders, uh, and other uh, designers, uh, you know, to gather uh, the diverse perspectives and ideas. That is application of design thinking. You know, shared model in uh, team-based design. That is the second topic of uh, the unit uh, module. Uh, shared model in uh, uh, in 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 a team-based design. A shared model means. Uh, that all team members they have a common understanding of the problem the solution and the design process so uh, this this shared understanding it represented uh, uh, through uh, uh, tools like uh, uh, a uh, design brief 
यूजर जर्नी मैप और विजुअल सोल्यूशन डिपिक्शन विच फेसिलिटेट्स द एफेक्टिव कम्युनिकेशन एंड कोलाबरेशन विथ इन द टीम ओके सो ये शेयर मॉडल इट एंश्योर्स दैट द एंटायर टीम इज ऑन द सेम पेज रिगार्डिंग द प्रॉब्लम not only regarding the problem regarding the user needs and the solution uh, reducing confusion uh, preventing uh, duplicated uh, efforts uh, and ensuring the final product or service which which meets the user needs then creating a shared model so establishing a shared uh, model it involves various approaches uh, which include uh, uh, Okay, so which include um, uh, holding a team uh, uh, alignment meeting to discuss and uh, come to an agreement on the problem of how to solve it or to identify user needs and solution, or 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 crafting a visual representation like uh, the user journey map or un understandable by all team members, which every can which can understand. It's a visualization, either making a meeting or um, recreating a visualization effect, or encouraging the team members to share their perspectives and ideas, uh, then integrating them into the shared model. So, regularly updating the shared model during the design process is very crucial, ensuring the, uh, the uh, team's understanding uh, is better and uh, new information and ideas are. Uh, are in, involved uh, are incorporated in the shared model that is the uh, meaning of the shared model in team visibility so that's about the um, part one of uh, module one thank you very much for uh, watching my video those who are not subscribed please do subscribe uh, and support them please do like the video so please do share the videos uh, thank you very much uh, my youtube channel is my intuition 4861 once again thank you very much